Hey guys, Sword here, and this is going to be another vlog with Minecraft. And if you have any questions, concerns, topics, ideas, or suggestions you want to comment down in the comment section below, feel free to do so. And if I use your idea, suggestion, or anything of the sort for a next video of mine, I'll credit you verbally within that video, and as well as I'll link your channel in the description as giving thanks for helping me out with something to talk about for that day. Well, first of all we're still working on the skylight as you can plainly tell that we are actually completed with filling it up with sand about a good 38,000 sand per se and now what we're gonna do is pretty much we're gonna dig that's all there is using our shovels we're just gonna keep digging so I'm gonna dig all the way down to the of course we're gonna reach all the way down to bedrock eventually let's see how fast this will be especially when we have just been using sand mostly it's gonna help our leaderboards as such and there you go. So today I have a question from one of my good friends, Plop RS, and he asked me what is your favorite type of video game and why. And then he goes on saying what are your favorite genres or something like that. And I don't actually have one favorite. I have several favorites. I'm a gamer. I like to play different types of video games. This is why I buy a lot of video games, but I just haven't really gone to actually play it because I've been focusing too much on Minecraft. I want to expand. So for this gaming channel, if I actually span two different video types of video games, let it not be a surprise to you, because I want to do more variety, I just don't want to stick with one thing. It will work, I could actually come back to it every single time, but I want to expand, so if I make different videos, so be it. If you guys like my videos for the commentary and not for the gameplay itself, then this is the channel for you, so that I could actually expand on different types of video games and have more fun with it, rather than focusing on one. All right, let's continue on. Well, again, I don't have any. I don't actually have the number one favorite. I have several favorites, and most of them I'm just going to talk about it from my childhood because the first console I've ever owned was a Nintendo 64, and my father bought it for us. Well, for me actually, it's just whatever. It's just that it was very very fun, and from there we actually played a lot of video games. There was Mario Party. Oh my God, I completely forgot about Mario Party. Well, we got Mario Party, I had Legend of Zelda, I had Super Mario 64, I even had Paper Mario, I had Wave Race, well, that's pretty much the main games I have. I had Donkey Kong 64, I keep, forget I keep forgetting a lot of video games that I actually owned, oh my god. Alright, so I had Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, I had Bugs Life, I haven't even beaten that game. I don't even think I've actually been in that game. It was so irritating finding everything that was in that video game. Alright. Let me see what else video games I do I have. I don't even remember. I recently actually got Pokemon Snap and Pokemon Stadium. Because my friends left them here and whatever. It's just, hey, free games. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. A lot of video games. A lot of nostalgia even thinking about them. So there's very several t different types of video games I used to play on the Nintendo 64. And then there's some modern, some of them in the past. Well, my favorite of all time series is Legend of Zelda. Just, just Legend of Zelda. I don't even know if I actually mispronounced it. My apologies. I've been working for seven hours straight at work. So yeah, that's just going to take a real huge impact of how I am thinking. It's just I'm really, really tired. Well, so there we go. Legend of Zelda, my all-time favorite of series, because of the fact that you have to figure a lot of things out on your own, as well as some of them actually have secrets, some of them have a lot of little dungeons you have to do, and some of them you have to complete it with everything that there is to get in that video game. And if you guys actually played Oracle Seasons of Oracle of Ages, you would understand. Because back then, you actually had to get both games. You had to get two Game Boys or two Game Boy Advances. You had to get the System Link little wire, whatever you want to call it. And you try to have to get all the rings. I try to get every single ring, but it's just too much. And then there's a lot of codes you have to put in. And the only way to get these codes is if you actually be in the game about 50 times. And I've only been the each each game. That's where the replay value comes in. You, I've been like Oracle Seasons or Oracle of Ages about a good ten times each, but I still couldn't put it in the code because I didn't want to delete my other save file. But you have to keep doing that until you get every single thing. It was just a bit of annoyance actually trying to do everything over and over and over again and try to get every little thing. I'm pretty sure that someone's already gone every single code through some sort of what's it called? 
emulator. With an emulator, you can do anything. But yeah, just for the fact that I try to do it legitly. I remember that. I watched one of those games. I was sad, but I still got Oracle Seasons, which I believe that was my favorite because of how you had to do some secrets as well as that you had to change the seasons, which was really, really fun. My god, that video game brought me back so many memories. I loved it so much. <sighs> I can't remember which one was my favorite. I think it was with the can either the kangaroo or the little red little dinosaur thing. I didn't really like the uh, blue flying bear that much. Hmm. Oh well. Continuing on. So that was my favorite of all times as a little kid. I love playing Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. I may even make a let's play of that. I have it for the GameCube, so that I could actually hook up my old H. HD PVR. I almost, I bit my tongue. <laughs> well, I could play, hook up the old HD PVR and play on it on the Wii, and then record it on from the GameCube, and then it could either do the Master Quest or we could do the regular one, depending on however you want to do it. Or I could just play the first one and then Master Quest, so that we could actually see the differences between those two. And I may not do 100%. Who knows? I just let's just continue on. Just probably just go through the entire game of how it should go. Then maybe just maybe do the little hundred percent later on or completion. Okay. Then we had Super Mario 64. Of course, I got that from my grandpa. Sadly, he passed away four years ago, I believe. You know, five years ago. He passed away five years ago. But I did get the game for him after begging so much. My parents don't even remember. They only remember that I actually got that video game at my grandfather's house. But that video game was so fun because of the fact that you had to get all 120 stars. And back then, like I said, there was a lot of video games that you had to do it by yourself. And this is one of those types of video games. I actually figured out that there was 120 stars. Nobody told me about it. Back then, you didn't really have internet to help you out. I just literally figured it out on my own just by wanting to go for 100 coins in one level, see if I could actually get an actual life. And then all of a sudden, a star pops out. It's like, oh my god, a brand new star for getting 100 coins? I replay the level, I get 100 coins, and then there's a blue star. Then I figured that every level actually had a secret star that you had to collect 100 coins. So onto that quest of getting 100 coins for every single level. My god, it was a pain, especially the clock tower thing, one, the clock tower level, and as well as a rainbow road level where you just got to go through the ships and everything else. It was just, my god, it was so, ah. well, continuing on. Then, of course, we had Bugs Life where I actually played it, I've actually been it. I, I don't remember if I actually been it, but I've gone so far, but there was no save feature. So every time when I had to start over, I literally had to start over from the beginning. But it was still fun nevertheless. It was kind of a good Bugs Life game ad ad adaptation from the movie. So, good review right there, I guess. But it's still good, in my opinion. And then we have Wave Race, where you had actually had to pretty much go on, of course, a little jet skis. Not uh, Are they jet skis? I I, uh, I think they're jet skis. Don't hurt me if I get it wrong. But it was still fun. If you actually played Wave Race, that's kind of like one of the best games you could actually play. Especially when you had to do the time trials or the point score where I actually tried to beat my score every single time. So it was really, really fun. I played with my friends and of course I would beat them. And then other times they'd beat me because I usually slip up for being too cocky. It's like, haha, I'm going to win, I'm going to win. Slam to a wall. Dang it. <laughs> so then there it is. And then we have Mario Party. I absolutely love Mario Party. It is a game about luck. Because either the only skill that you have are the mini games itself, but through the boards, through the dice rolls, just everything about that, it's all about luck. And if you have great luck on your side, you're going to win. If you have bad luck on your side, you may lose, but then all of a sudden you get back to the top by some miraculous thing that happens. And then of course we have the NPCs in that game that somehow they always get the best of luck while you're sitting here trying to trying to get to the top. Or they ruin it by getting one of those boos to actually steal your star from you, which is really, really annoying and frustrating at that point. And that's where my ultimate rage quits come from, where I was doing so well and then all of a sudden I lost. Because in that video game, you had to win if you want to get the best stuff or you want to unlock more stuff. And if you lose, then you have to do that all over again. So rather than just losing, I turned off the Nintendo 64, turned it back on, and try again. That's how it was. Uh, great memories from that game. Okay. 
So we probably covered Adventure. We already covered what's it called? Other games. Then we party games, board games, whatever you want to call it. And of course, there's first-person shooter games. I know I've played some for the Nintendo 64, but it's never as fun because everyone always screen peeks. You guys know what I'm talking about. Whenever you play with a group of friends, they always look at your screen. They know exactly where you're at at all times. That is not fun. I do it all the time because they always get it on my nerves of killing me every single time. So, yeah, I'm guilty of that too, but it's just to counteract the fact that they do it to me. And they said that they don't, but that is just a load. <laughs> That's just a load. It's, they're, they're lying. Especially when we were playing Halo 2, that was really fun. I would just grab the sniper and just snipe them when they try to kill me. It's like, how do you know where we're at? It's not Screen He's like, hey, you know where I'm at. I'm just shooting you where you're at. Alright, so of course we're going to the modern era, and probably everyone's going to expect me to say Call of Duty is my favorite first-person shooter game. Well, it's good. It's still continuing. Everyone loves it for the multiplayer. Story mode, though, nobody cares about the story. Nobody cares about the story. It's all about the multiplayer for everyone's standpoint. Some video games have a legitimate storyline, but then again, I loved Call of Duty when it was all about the World War II or it was about history because I got to learn a little thing about history. Don't know if they're actually true about it or they're just pretty much interpreting the way that they want us to know about it. But I loved it just for the fact that there's a little bit of story into the Call of Duty series. So Call of Duty is a good first person shooter when it was during its World War II phase and then it kind of died off when they went to Modern Warfare especially when they were going to Black Ops and we have Modern Warfare 3 and then it's gonna make another Call of Duty game so on so forth so yeah what else is there to say about that so continuing on so if anyone wants to see me make Call of Duty videos that's, that's fine I like to actually play Call of Duty on multiplayer and I've only done a let's play on Black Ops 2 so oh well there's a lot of things I really want to talk about, but I'm just running out of time. Well, like I said, these are video games from my childhood. Or well, at least for the one that tells these four. Legend of Zelda is still the, my all-time favorite. But, who knows? Maybe we'll do some Let's Play of, of Legend of Zelda. It may take a while, but at least it gives me more variety to do. So, with that being said, I am Sword of Kings of Zero. Have a nice day, everybody.